let's get started with spring in which we will configure an application we first create a project java project named spring hello world within my eclipse i then create a library folder in which we add all the jars which are present when we download the spring we create a package name com.qspawn in which we have two classes hello bean and hello world application we had an xml name beans.xml within our source folder shown is the contents of beans.xml we first have a xml version which is 1 and encoding is utf8 which is a general character encoding for supporting languages like english next we define a beans namespace which is mapped to the schema based on beans the schema location is specified which points to the url of springframework.org within which we have a schema and within which we have beans similarly we specify the exsd location also after this we make use of the bean tag which has a property name id which has value hello bean and we map it to the class com.qspawn.hello bean we define a property name of the property is message and put the value as hello spring the bean tag is included within the bean stack shown is the hello bean class which contains a variable of type string named message we have a setter for this and we have a show method which prints out the message to test the application we have made a class name hello world application shown are the different ways in which beans.xml can be read and the hello bean object can be created within the main function of this class the first way is by using application context in which we make use of class path xml application context within which we pass the name of the xml which in our case is beans.xml after doing this we make use of the get bean function defined within the context in which we again pass a string name which represented our bean in our case within our beans.xml we had given the id as hello bean using the same we get the bean by passing the hello bean as the name we type cast it to the hello bean class and invoke bean dot show on the same on doing this a hello bean object will be created and the message attribute which was present within the class would get value as hello spring shown is the second way of reading the beans dot xml this is by using class path resource we will use class path resource to read the xml and get the required object if our xml is present within our class path after getting the class path resource object we pass the same to xml bean factory the constructor of xml bean factory takes class path resource as an argument by using factory dot get bean in which we pass the name of the bean which we set in the beans dot xml which in our case was hello bean by type casting this object to hello bean we get the object in which using which we invoke the show method shown is the third way of reading and parsing the beans dot xml in this case we make use of resource and file system resource the file system resource is mainly used if we want to read the xml from file path given within 
डिफाइल सिस्टम रिसोर्स इज द पाथ वेर बींस डॉट एक्सामल इज प्रसेंट वी गेट द रिसोर्स विच इज अगेन पास एस एन आर्ग्यूमेंट टू एक्सामल बीन फैक्ट्री एंड यूज इन दिस फैक्ट्री डॉट गेट बीन इन विच वी पास द नेम ऑफ द बीन दैट इज आई डी विच वी सेट विद इन द बींस डॉट एक्सामल विच इन अवर केस इज एलो बीन बट टाइप कास्ट इन टू प्रॉपर टाइप वी इन वोक अगेन द शो मेथड ऑन दिस एम Thus, on executing this, we will get three messages corresponding to each of the objects we created using three different methods, which are supported in Spring. On executing the above program, we get "Hello Spring" as output three times, corresponding to the three different ways in which we. Got the object and invoke the show method on the same. The first we got by using the first method. Second by using class path resource, and third by using files. Thus, we have successfully seen how to configure a Spring application, and also saw the different ways. of getting objects and reading the xml file next let's see the various type of dependency injections which are supported in spring